school teacher writing a book, publishing a things. I have so many of them with now. And this is the rural hinterland. I'm talking about the area I know because my being in Kharagpur, I'm sure this is the story of Bardhaman and area area. And, uh, and I'm, we are now doing Kuchbihar Heritage Town. Mamata Manaji has declared that Kuchbihar as a heritage town we don't. And the same thing, the people are very interested. They want to do a lot of things. They, they know more, we can learn from them. But how to do this, this remains a puzzle. I haven't been able to do so much. I have learned and sharing the experience, thank you. I would like to get your confirmation. My opinion, <coughs> what I have observed that if you uh, divide three things, the religions of three, those heritage, which is missionaries, they are, as for the fun concern, they are much more organized. Whereas other religion may not be. Reason being, they are better informed. They do take privilege of the provision in the act, whereas others are not. Uh, should I explain further? No, I probably have understood. Yeah, uh, I studied in England, so I know there is the charges are taken by the church trust. I also, in a way, uh, was thinking like you that how they have a very good system. But later on, I had a lot of students from Kerala, and they told me, I mean, may not be in the name of heritage, but if you go to any temple, they sit hundreds of years, they have a document of maintenance of that, how they have done, how much money and other thing is there. So it may not be in a different name, but they have been maintaining it. And if you see the even the English heritage and the National Trust and other, they are also the, the concept of restoration has been changing. Now it was maintain, repair and other things. So, I won't say that we didn't have that. We had that. Sometimes probably some that there was a breaking somewhere for whatever the reason. Um, and I probably perhaps won't bring religion into that. Uh, other things, probably it's important. Because uh, Yasin, I started with Yasin. Yasin was a Mohammedan and he was doing the temple and his own community people really threatened his life. He had to run away. That's why you're doing that. So uh, I, I, I would like to keep the religion. But one thing is sure that uh, this culture can be developed, uh, irrespective of whatever is there. Every culture, I'm sure, we, I don't know, every culture has their own way of taking care of their heritage. So we have to find out that what was that. May not, that may not be at par with the, because even now we are questioning the Eurocentric conservation techniques today also, which may not be applicable for our. So this question has started. So this is my sort of reply to you. So uh, I'm sure that every, uh, every community culture has their own tradition. Yes. Do you think that uh, to preserve the heritages, uh, it should be need to uh, on uh, maintenance and uh, financial matters, there should be meeting and conference to be held between the trustees and the ministerials go or governments in every week or every month. I think there has to like be a this. dialogue. Whether it will be every day, every month, I cannot say that. But it has to be, a, as I say, it's a, it should involve everybody. It should be something forced down from the top. And I see. Uh, Anjuni is there, is another colleague who has been working with the people. So he knows that right from the, uh, uh, the these are all the people who work in the field, I think. Uh, so it has to be, I, I won't say that every week everything. The meeting has to be fruitful. It has to be transparent. There has to be a debate because uh, I, I won't start that topic that what is preservation, what is restoration, what is uh, consolidation and other, there are also technicalities and which has to be resolved before one starts the work. And that needs the stakeholders' involvement and proper expert involvement because it cannot be done just by looking at the what I said that uh, by a app or something. There needs a proper expertise there. I mean, it, everything cannot be done like that. So um, it, more than the meeting, I would say the, it has to be transparent. The dialogue has to be there, and everybody should be involved right from the beginning. It shouldn't be imposed from the top. Uh, I didn't show you in uh, 
that uh, where the Nara jewel, uh, where I went to a temple, it was there in the picture, I didn't explain, so they didn't restore the terracotta panels. So what they did is that they put the panels or plaques which is available in the market, they put it there. That's not the right way to do it, but they didn't know who will tell them. And Hong Shishuri is one of the very well-known, it's an ASI protected, but these are not protected. They thought this is the best way, so they did it. So there has to be someone to tell that even sometimes I can explain the Patra initial work was very good because it's not always necessary to, again, restore the terracotta. You can keep it planned because there is a convention in Venice Charter that distinguish between the old and the new. And there some sort of a debate, discussion is required, what has to be done, how much intervention. At the moment, I think Orissa Konarak Temple, that debate is going on between ASI and others. So there is a lot of ethical things are there. So uh, it cannot be just said in one language. That discussion and other things, the craftsmen, yes. And what I tried to do my that project is to train the craftsmen. Uh, the craftsman is, a, I, I, I know very well being in the hinterland that craftsman uh, is a problem. Definitely, that training pool of craftsmen who, who, won't, who, who won't do cement. I haven't shown that someone was doing a cement thing. Why cement? Why not lime? Uh, that has to be explained, what is the problem. So that training at all levels, right from the engineer to this thing is required. This is, said, and that is what is different probably going back to your thing, that there that crafts training is very important and that pull of craftsmen is there, what is important. And probably we had that, now we have lost especially um, some sort of a broken linkage. Professor Boshu, I, I had, you know, this, this is just fascinating and you have focused on such a, such an, uh, you know, relatively unexplored side of the whole effort at heritage conservation, which is involving the community and the people at the grassroots. Uh, now, uh, as you said, you gave examples of people in the localities writing to agencies like the ASI, the state archaeology and so on and so forth. Now, the, what, 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 you know, what I, I feel is that, so there are these government agencies. There is state archaeology, uh, which is West Bengal government. There is ASI, which is the government of India. There is West Bengal Heritage Commission, which is also government of West Bengal. But, and of course, there, then there are these NGOs, big and small, like Intec and all that. Uh, and then there are these uh, dedicated individuals like you and your colleagues elsewhere in institutions who do this work uh, of documentation tirelessly. But what I feel is that you know, the, the approach of the ASI, and we do a bit of work with ASI, and I know that they are a huge organization but still understaffed. So they have their own staff. They have their own uh, engineers and technicians who have these skills. But they very rarely involve the, the local knowledge or, or the community. They, normally they don't. Uh, nor do the state archaeology. And the West Bengal Heritage Commission is a conglomerate of individual heritage experts. They don't have a pool of technicians at all. And I don't think they involve uh, any, any, anybody on the local level. INTAC uh, probably does that. I, I, INTAC did uh, 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 an excellent documentation of uh, Bakura or Bak Yes, I, and I don't know whether that was done in collaboration with local uh, people or not. But the, the problem here is that everybody is a stakeholder here and we all share a common goal. But who do you think? And then there are individuals and you have your ability is also limited, you know, because you have a fixed tenure, you have this, this, this proposal which is important but which has been shelved by HRD. So what is, do you think is the best way to pool these resources, pool all of these organizations, and who is in a best position to provide a leadership to all of these stakeholders who share common goals? You know, uh, in a sense, transcending uh, problems like state-center relations, transcending problems like uh, the absence of, uh, you know, traditionally skilled craftsmen and so on and so forth, 
the first thing is to is to is for all of these government agencies uh, in particular to know that there is this enthusiasm at the local level there are these organizations and community initiatives at the local level and to and to do a documentation we if we can do an inventory of who are with with the limited number who are the local craftsmen who are available who know these techniques and what are their contact details what are their addresses and so on and so forth and what is the doc so who, how, how do you say something more about the ideal roadmap which can really pull together these these efforts which in spite of the best of intentions remain isolated and uncoordinated I'm not talking about cities because my entire emphasis on this hinterland and which I realize and they may not be even any graded, but they are very important for the, that village and other thing. Uh, I can say one thing is that definitely I, I wanted, I expected intact uh, because intact started uh, intact right from the beginning. Uh, Intac had a role because, but now Intac, uh, I'm not going into the thing. I'm very disappointed I say that it's documented. Kamal Babu knows it's documented. Uh, what I said, I, I said that at least I identified seven, eight, and that the first temple I said, take it as a pilot project. Do one pilot because Sir Bernard Felden used to tell me that even one small project, don't start with a big project, one small project, a key intervention is very important. So I said, okay, that's a small one. Do something in a proper way with the local people in on the site training and then Delhi or experts coming and somehow finance making to show the people it can be done without ASI, but in a proper way, not, I mean, say. And in the process, on the job, train the people. Intech is doing that. They have now Intech Heritage Academy and other things they're doing. I, I wanted that to be taken. So I one thing at the end of this, I wanted at least two or three pilot projects should come. I identified, talk to the people, and on the job training. This is one. that we, It's a huge number. You can't at least select which are dangerous, it can deal. So I suggested seven, eight, one priority, and talk to the owner who are agreeing. Yeah, with Bardhaman and other, it will be much yes, more. Yes, yes. And I myself didn't know. And I, 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 what I give importance not to the uh, thing, I said the cumulative effect that how about they portray. So one is the pilot project. And I'm seeing the, now the corporate social responsibility of the heritage. So money shouldn't be a problem if someone devoured the thing. And meeting together people and train the people, that is one thing. And if definitely a pool of craftsmen. Talking about your enlisting, I think Intac has started that. They told me three years back that they have uh, but not only enlisting, because I'm tired of this documentation. Uh, because 20 years back, I did the documentation, and now also documentation. Some work has to be done at this level, and on the process, on the job, train a local pool. If it's very complicated, they can't do it. But if something, and someone to be there, so it is a different layers, right from the mason to the craftsman to the other. And there are the local people who are very interested. They are educated. They said, we can take up that responsibility. That was my purpose of that uh, project, which I uh, wanted to do. So pull up that and it's gradually so so it's not top down because intact is still again west bengal heritage commission is doing but it, again it's a thing so i think it's as i say the empower or uh, at least uh, uh, help them to develop the skill and and also formalize it has to be a certificate course it has to not anybody can be done so there has to be a formalization process i hope intact heritage committee a academy can do something. It has to be at the state level. Each, like the problem here, like say the tabric temples of the fungus type. So many fungus I didn't know. I can see the fungus types. I don't know what are the fungus, what is their thing. So there's someone who has to be expert of that, the, which is this material, this climate, this technology, this thing. So there has to be a pull of that. So it has to be region specific. Uh, I think I, I blame myself for all these years, I couldn't do uh, build up that thing, but and leaving that <laughs> unfulfilled. But I hope that this can be done, and I was really looking forward that to bring the thing. So as I said, pilot project is very important, even one or two, to tell the people it. Because when I went, 
দেখো ডকুমেন্টেশন এত गवर्नमेंट তো আসবে কিছু তো হবে না কতবার করবেন জানি এটা কিছু হবে না এসআই করবে এন্ড এসআই ইজ এ ভেরি রং থিং পাত্র শোস দ্যাট টেকিং ওভার বাই এসআই ইজ ডান এ থিং বিকজ হোয়াটএভার হিজ এনর্মাস লাইফ হ্যাজ গন ইনটু দ্যাট বাট দিস ইজ নট দ্য ওয়ে বিকজ এসআই হি হ্যাজ এ ওভারলোডেড আই নো হাউ দিস থিং ইজ দ্যাট ইট হ্যাজ টু বি লোকাল সো হাউ টু বিল্ড আপ দ্যাট ফ্রম দ্য লোকাল সো দ্য থিং ইজ देयर ইন এ ফর্মালাইজড ওয়ে I hope that institution like something I I I think uh, can sometimes one or two even project and uh, doing that um, that it can be done in a proper way and people will learn in the process the young people and others so but the teaching them the technique proper way ethics what is not done what is why the plaque cannot be there or why it can be there how to scale the things so I think the potential is there so at all levels so documentation i think enough enough documentation is there in fact put them in the yeah. thing and then take and I would, so that's okay yeah, yeah, yeah. as a start mark said philosophers have so far interpreted the world the point however is to change the original force of in uh, there are there are a lot of things in tech heritage academy has started that but i think so a lot of these when we started they are not not a full so how at all level what i mean to say because i remember uh, sorry uh, there is a temple and the owner had i i, I one day I, can, i think i can i should share that he was doing taking out all the decoration and putting some rakkhoshir uh, matha ekhanta i mean when why you are doing that in cement and i stopped i said i'll put a craftsman that i said i am an artist so i have a right to put my interpretation on the temple i think this I think but that's not the thing you cannot do in a new temple you can do whatever but that shouldn't be there. He didn't listen to me and he went on and I didn't have power to stop anything. I just could convince that this is not done. He, the person said give me a good craftsman. I have to depend on him. So he is doing with cement and putting a lot of to at the pujar pandal mat creative jodi ekta mandir ke bhabe tahole to mushkil. He about situation is not bad i'm very hopeful of the people i've seen beautiful people to school teachers um the young people they're writing another thing so the awareness is there there is no need for creating awareness that how to jigsaw puzzle this and again probably learn from other countries other places other places people and other thing and the young people what you are doing but at least the pilot project one or two not a very important one what you mention hongshishur is an important one small one which is beautiful there are so many now i mean i can see that awareness is coming but to get the things done make the people things and craftsmen and local region specific because i'm sure kharagpur problem of laterite soil and other will be a little bit different from bordhaman and and to make that story that's what is important that and intangible I'm very scared. They are the <laughs> stalwart. <laughs> the actual. Uh, no, thank you, uh, Shangvitra Di. You have really brought uh, a very pertinent and a very relevant social angle to the whole uh, idea of conservation. The way it has been practiced, Pr practically, it was almost mitigated like a technical elitism that we really look at. Uh, i'm not going to debate on anything but what shangavitra di said is very true and in fact until and unless the local people they really associate themselves with the pride of it and that is how most of the other things which are not listed not documented are still being maintained because that is in the indian ethos we don't really discard anything which is old it is the new vocabulary that is being installed that is what is creating because right now earlier also we know if there is something has to be repaired the old craftsman is always there it is repairing like that uh, fortunately we have done some work here even in calcutta in gorivadi parishnath mandir the person who actually was involved he said that i have to uh, my conservation process has to be very slow because i cannot actually uh, do things faster because for generations these workmen are still working here and they keep repairing maintaining the way it is 
so it's almost like a living tradition now this is a kind of experience i have come across from the people in kartgola this is a very different story so everywhere what she actually pointed out is true we have to really honor the basic connect and then try and see what is the local wisdom about it things are not really forgotten all the thing is they need support and sponsorship so a basic little bit of care and other thing just to assist them and we have to take out this notion of you have to depend on external funding for your own things the main problem with our heritage is when they go out of the line and they became like ruins or something that is where the major problem started so if we restore a temple and if we restart the um, deity worship automatically people will be looking after because that is the part of a conservation program unless you make it included in the whole system just by restoration is not really doing anything it's only delaying the dk that has already been sustained it is an unsustainable practice this anjun after i retire let's take one temple as a crusade yeah sure and we'll do that that one i, I think